San Antonio movie lovers recently got to experience something typically reserved for New York or L.A., a world premiere. JT Street shows us how three local filmmakers created their own brand of movie madness on Street's Corner. The bright lights, the red carpet, the flutes of champagne. The scene at the Empire Theater this weekend had all the glitz and glamour of a big budget movie premiere. It's like a glittery ball wrapped up in fudge. It's amazing. Only the film at the center of that glittery fudge ball isn't some massive Hollywood blockbuster. It's Sanitarium. Sanitarium is an, uh, an old school anthology film. Three stories created by three different directors. This was not some studio film. This was a ultra low budget in Film. We can make a big budget film on low dollars and make make it right. Veteran local directors Brian Ortiz, Kerry Valderrama, and Brian Ramirez wanted to prove that San Antonio could be a big time filmmaking destination, which is why they lured in big time talent. Actors like Lou Diamond Phillips, Robert Englund, and Malcolm McDowell. Welcome to the sanitarium. That was crazy. Malcolm McDowell is a legend. And I got to work with him. You can be in Timbuktu or San Antonio, Texas. If you have a great project with a great script and great directors attached, it's going to happen. But it almost didn't happen. Kerry says the stress of making a low-budget film with a big-budget feel nearly sent the directors to their own madhouse. We're not going to be able to get this person. We're not going to be able to do this location. We're going to have to close on production. To me, the fact that we were able to do it is a dream come true. And by sharing that dream with their city, the directors hope to convince other local filmmakers that they'd be crazy to leave. So when are you going to L.A.? Never. Well, only to sell the movie to make another one here. <laughs> now, true to his word, Kerry's actually in L.A. right now trying to sell Sanitarium to the networks as a possible TV series that would be shot here in San Antonio. In the meantime, the film will screen at various festivals throughout the country in 2013. If you've got a crazy story idea for Streets Corner, you can send it to me on Twitter at Streets Corner or like us at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. J.T. Street, Fox News at 9.